Another great ambassador, Lucas Redabe, as they say in the UK. You're still with us, Kolala. We saw Kassin, SABC Sports on one, Mzansi for sure. Now, we'll simply Carol, the first lady of sport. Now, Maritzburg United striker Ufadu Davids is one of the few prolific strikers in the local league. The, uh, the Capetonian born striker was last se uh, season's top goal scorer in the National First Division for the second time. Now, his goals helped Maritzburg United to return to top flight football after staying for a season in the coastal stream. We decided to pay him a visit and see what he's like off the field. Here's offside. Ufadu Davis, no woman to Kichimago Marisbeck United, Pans and Kaz and Nwaka Kichimala Makemba Fana no Vasco da Gama, a manning range of Namanya Manning, Nom Kadu Balisis in Julia First Division, Jacob Shama Kolo Pambila Shama Kolo 16, M. Dalino 28. Oh, we are. I'm from Cape Town, uh, was born in Cape Town, uh, and I grew up with a close family. Uh, one brother, one sister, and uh, you know, I grew up with a nice, warm, loving family, and I think that uh, grounded me to make me the person I am today. He was a, a disciplined a child in, in not doing naughty things like, um, I would say, a discipline, he would listen to you, but at the back of his mind, you do the opposite again, you know, without me knowing. I know Fadi now for about four, over four years. And from, from the time that we met, he's never ever disappointed me in terms of a, a funny personality flaw or some, some crazy antics. He's, he's been a straight guy and he's constant with that. I mean, also he has an amazing confidence. I always said if, if I look at be anything else, he'd be a motivational speaker or a life coach because that's actually what he is for me. Actually. For me, uh, uh, you know, um, coming from an orthodox Muslim family, I would rather have preferred Fadlu being a, 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 a sheikh. You know, a sheikh in our uh, terminology, in English terminology, to be a priest. You know, uh, a religious person. And that was my longing for him. But to be turned out the other way, that he became a soccer player. I got the opportunity to play overseas after my spell, after making my debut for Mother City at the age of 18. Uh, I got an opportunity to go for a trial after my first season in the PSL and I uh, went for the trial in the two, for two weeks and they were very impressed and they signed me immediately uh, and I had an enjoyable stay there. I was 18 turning 19 in my first season overseas and I learned so much about being a professional, you know, professional football and more about life, you know. Ngempelo David, so umuntu oyimisele ngempela ngempilo. Ngumanje ushadile. Uyayazi into ngemhlophe. Ililili. Kanti nesithonda sakhe azovala umlomo ngaye. A wedding day. Wow. That day stands out as the most wonderful day of my life. I got married in Cape Town obviously because both of our family are from there. We had a we decided not to have too big of a wedding. We just had four four bridesmaids. Um um, the, the official wedding ceremony in, in uh, the way it happens in Islam, it happens at the mosque. So um, uh, Fadlu and the, the Imam that, that married us, they were at the mosque and I would wait at home for them to come. So the actual wedding ceremony would take place without me even being there. And my father would be my representative at the mosque. When he came back from the mosque, we were now married. And then he, he basically came to fetch me from my mother's home. He put on the ring and we kissed it was, uh, it was amazing. And back when Danda to Abu Sisos Gamfundi said, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. We were very excited about it. Um, Padu obviously wanted to know what the sex was. It's both of our first child. And of course, he always said that he would love for his first child to be a boy. So that at least while he's, you know, the soccer career is not too long. So at least while he's still playing professional soccer, his son can maybe come to games and, you know, be involved and watch his father playing. And, you know, it's exciting, of course, for a father to have his son involved. I think the most important thing is to believe in yourself, you know. Uh, a soccer player is always going to get ups and downs. You're going you're gonna to get a lot of knocks. People are going to tell you not good enough. Some coaches are not going to believe in you. Some coaches are. But the main thing is just to keep working hard, you know. Uh, for me, I think what helped me is, is, is my hard work and my extra training. Ooh, I 
got a great personality, beautiful family, Nana. Uh, such a wonderful.